Consider this a little gift for reaching 20k, Lizard Daddy. Also, I still haven't redrawn all my sprites, so I'm just going to use Claws as my talk sprite today, just for the lols. Today we're going to look at an example of trying too hard, and to do that I'm picking on the easiest target imaginable. Before I even get started here, the dislikes speak for themselves. Like, I'm pretty sure that this is a sign that you're doing everything wrong when your dislike to like ratio is this size. Most drama gets its haters, especially when you're picking on another user with a fan base a hundred times the size of yours. I've personally picked on users much bigger than myself and look at my like to dislike ratios. It's not who you pick on, it's what you say, how you conduct yourself and what information and proof you bring to the table. Ransom reviews are kind of there to change people's opinions on different topics. If you provide no substantial evidence and instead just sound like a whiny attention whore, then you're not going to get nowhere. It's called bandwagoning. Right now, everyone is ranting on animation memes and the people who create them. The last big trend was ranting on Savdraws. Regardless of whether you're a fan of hers or not, everyone has to admit that it went overboard extremely quickly, and most of the people bandwagoning were just regurgitating points made by other ranters. Bandwagoning isn't good when it's the same thing being said over and over again. You need to say something new to freshen it up a little bit, and if you can't do that then don't make a rant at all. I don't want this video just to be about this one particular rant, I'm dissecting it to prove my own points about what should and shouldn't be done in this community, because in the next couple of months I can see more and more users like this coming out of the woodwork. The ranting and review community has become rather lucrative over the past few months, and as one of the larger rant channels I want to try and stop people from making videos of a poorer quality that don't reflect badly on the rest of the community. And with that being said, let's get into this. I like how he censors my name, but then ends up forgetting to censor the title of the video. Like, if you are not trying to show my channel, then you failed so fucking hard, my dude. Like, you should have obviously censored the title of the video if you did not want your fans coming to my channel. Like, how do you honestly forget to censor the title of the fucking video? Oh, you know you're in for a ride when you got gameplay footage with commentary overlaid. I'm already getting leafy vibes from this. Just don't. Please. Secondly... People are much less likely to type in the actual video title rather than your username. Censoring usernames is common courtesy, censoring video titles isn't. People need to know what the hell is being reviewed, and that's the purpose of the title. If fans are going to go out of their way to harass you, then nothing is going to stop them. Disclaimers are good, but you can't blame Spockter for this because he has a disclaimer and it deflects the blame from him. That's why we use them. Also, Darling herself mentioned you by name in the top comment. Why don't you have a little rant about hair instead? Oh, wait, we already know how that went. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if you were a Keemstar fan. That makes no sense, and what you said is pretty fucking ignorant. Oh yeah, but you're clearly a Leafy fan. I don't understand what's going on. Man, you must be really stupid if you couldn't understand what was happening there. Buddy, you didn't understand the Keemstar joke. Please don't call anyone else stupid in this video. Might I remind you, you spelt the word tries wrong. Alright, here's the thing. You can easily turn up the fucking volume of your PC, video, or headphones, then you'll be able to hear it perfectly. I'm gonna be the first to admit that I'm awful with sound mixing, but I will admit that. It's not the viewer's chore to turn the volume up and down whenever they can't hear it. That is poor video editing on your part, nobody else should have to suffer for it. People are going to be reluctant to turn their volume all the way up because you overuse ear rape at every single opportunity. Just own up and accept that you've made a mistake whilst editing. You really don't have to try and pull an excuse out of your ass. And this is also just a little troll. Oh, here comes the best argument. I was just trolling you. Oh, it was just a prank, bro. Yeah, the it was just a prank is the worst excuse in the book. You don't cheat on your girlfriend and when she confronts you say, Oh, it was just a prank, bro, because no one believes that shit anymore. I know what teachers feel like when they have a class full of students saying they dog ate their homework. I doubt you understand what trolling is anyway, considering you didn't understand the concept of a joke three seconds ago. But let's give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you are just trolling. You're the worst troll in existence then. No troll has to defend their trolling in a video just because they got called out. Trolls don't get this butt hit that they have to go onto Steam, pick out a first person shooter and recite a badly worded video defending their actions. And I say defending in quotation marks because this isn't a defense, this is just bad. Censor the F word every time a UFC fighter says it and it's hilarious because this dude tells me I need to do my research. The ironic thing here is that you're saying you didn't censor the word fuck but here you are, censoring it yourself by calling it the F word. I'm, I'm stunned, is this, is this even a point that deserved to be made? Do more research. 
Dude, you must have been pretty ignorant in school. Because the apostrophe shouldn't even be there. <coughs> is proofreading a foreign concept to you or something? Alright, the thing is, it was not even an accident. Rather on purpose. Like, no one can even do that on accident. I don't even know how anyone can do that on accident. Like Easily! By not knowing how to make a fucking video! It's like listening to a small child being caught doing something wrong, right down to the fact that they use the phrase on accident rather than by accident. Christ. If they fucking do, then they're fucking dumb. He just called himself dumb. Can we just appreciate this, please? i also like to address the comments like these. Oh, hello there, handsome. That tried correcting me or making fun of me because of the fact that I spelled tries wrong, even though I already corrected myself a long time ago in the video. So I'm guessing they're on mobile or they just seen the video on your horrible fucking channel. We learn by being corrected. That's how a functional human brain works. Obviously, your boy here knows everything. Annotations don't work on YouTube anymore. Content creators who actually pay attention to their content would know this. I'm still gonna call you out for your grammar, or therefore lack of it. Might I remind you that you've just said on accident several times in the space of a minute? Yeah, let the memes do the talking. That'll definitely prove how shitty this channel is. Ah, good one, man. You got me there. Alright, for real though, how can you not fucking see that it's a joke? Because you labeled this a rant. A rant is to talk about something passionately. If you want jokes, Spockter has a series where he basically does what you're trying to argue you're doing, but like 10 times better. There's a thing called comedic timing. This just looks like an 11 year old trying to make a YouTube poop for the first time on Vegas. And you're a fucking adult for crying out loud that spends most of the time on the fucking internet. I, I, sh I expected you to know this already. You just said it yourself. He's an adult. He's not going to be amused by childishness like this. Using filthy Frank memes in 2017 is like wiggling your keys in front of babies' faces to entertain them. I mean, th this is a fucking troll video with a purpose. A purpose? Bitch, where? Of uh, pissing off the community. Well, you didn't do a very good job. I mean, darling's laughing at you, so when exactly did you piss people off? The only way to piss off a community like this is to be a big YouTuber with some sort of influence. And I'm sorry to say this, but you're not. You're just making really poor excuses here. I think I do know what the purpose of this video was though. It was to show everyone what not to do in a video. Like, for a start, you don't label this kind of shit a rant. You don't then try and call it a troll video because you are met with reasonable criticism. You don't then try and call out the person who called you out because it ain't gonna do anything to help your case. You don't make a second video trying to defend yourself by just trying to make everyone else look wrong. Everything's awful. I guess the one good thing about the video is that it actually ends at some point. Just aspiring ranters, please don't do what this guy is doing, oh my god. You fucking